guys, this is Shantan and today I want to talk about came out two to three years back where the new MRT is coming out so every development now is going to be built next or adjacent to LRT stations or MRT stations so I'm now in one of the oldest form of TOD which is way before the term is being invented so this is the same station which is adjacent to the track to KLCC the Putra line it's called Bangsa Trade Center. So Bangsa Trade Center is an old building where in those days, uh, let me check right, I'll just post uh, when and how long this development is already. At that time already, they know the importance of the train station being and going through a development and that convenience. These are the days where only KLCC is adjacent to the train station, so nothing else. This is how crazy and futuristic those days people are but then I think because of the development has some problems so this term kind of lose its fire Okay, some may argue that real estate have not evolved a lot throughout these years I would argue that only the construction part of it and it's also picking up already lately What I'm trying to say is uh, if you notice like the previous episodes I talked about landed properties and typologies right now we can talk about high rises so high rise used to be only single function what I mean is when condominiums are condominiums apartments are apartments actually there's a difference between both I'll link that video down below just in case for the benefit of everyone so there's condo so there's apartments first so there's low rise high rise apartments after that then they move to condominiums condominiums which is a more luxury kind of thing and then only people start to notice like offices commercial spaces people need huge amount of commercial spaces the entire KL is built on offices after offices then you have service apartments service apartments are Residential components built on a commercial use piece of land, so it's kind of complicated right there. Traffic becomes a problem. People obsession towards cars, especially Malaysians, now becomes a problem when getting around is quite difficult. So train comes into the picture, bus comes into the picture. That's why commuting becomes a big part of real estate. That's why when LRT came out and it used to be KDM, then LRT then now BRT, then now MRT and so on and so forth so the switch also impacted real estate by having mixed development then on the previous, also on the vlog where we have hotels, service apartments, offices, residents, malls all in the same piece of land but now TOD which is Transit Oriented Development is on top of that another link of transportation is either BRT, MRT or KTM or so on and so forth this will greatly bring crowds because as in, in uh, Feng Shui we always call San Shui mountain and river it's not real mountain, it's a real river but what they are trying to say then was that river is the connectivity part when we, people used to go by boats, so they travel by boats 
connectivity and going around becomes a very very big part and very essential part of real estate. I am sad and so These developments, is it good or bad? It really depends on the price range itself. Like sometimes I wonder why a 1.6 million property needs connection to the LRT. <clears throat> That's essential in TDDI. The users itself can really afford cars and most of them are higher ranked people. They don't really uh, go to work in the same time like the rest of us. So that's one point of view. The other point of view is that uh, LRTs and MRTs are supposed to be uh, designed and integrated into mass housing like those public housing or low cost housing or middle cost housing. So those are the people that really need the facility the most but then it, cre it then will create some social problems. You all need to understand convenience doesn't really come with security. Convenience when people can, when your place is easily accessible via transportation becomes a problem and security then becomes compromised. So it's a school of thought. That's why high end places don't be, it's not really that accessible that publicly. But unless you are going for the mass market where uh, security can be compromised a little bit. But I'm not saying that they don't deserve security, but just that you can't have all. My point of view I said is you can, there won't be a project that is solely so perfect. So if this project itself is connected to MRT, BRT, LRT, right? Number one, the price will then be high. The usage, because the usage is a lot, there are a lot of people who, are, who, who really be attracted to those kind of projects. But then there will be noise. When there's a lot of people, there's a lot of energy, then it affects. So if you're using it for a residential point of view, then you need to somewhat be, as we mentioned in the previous episodes, the security and the compartmentalization of the resident component must be well done. So that is the key where if you guys need to know how to ask the questions of the salesperson when you guys ask or find out this kind of projects. So mixed development itself when 50 OD now kind of complicate things where on common places where every commuters will pass through your development or project to take the train but then the maintenance as the walkway the, the cleanliness of the walkway or the maintenance of the walkway who pays for it the lightings the security who pays for it <clears throat> all this needs to be thought through and you need to ask because most of the time if you own a residence this kind of mixed development part of your maintenance fee also covers the rest of this kind of <coughs> common facilities all walkways we call it common places uh. so TODs are very good for rental uh, because of the convenience that it provides youngsters that are new in the market for let's say they start working within three to five years right these kind of facilities are really really important for them because they can barely make ends meet so public transport really cuts away the time and things like that so rental of these kind of places then become very very a bit more significant but if you go for a high-end kind of thing the high-end condos sometimes this uh, public transport station integrating into the city people do reject like cases like Taman Tun, Dr. Ismail the residents there actually rejected the proposal of having a MRT there but too bad that's the that's for the people and you can't really just change or ban the track itself so uh, it's really up to if you like convenience and you like people go for a TOD development if you really need privacy for your family that requires high security where they are the life of your life I don't know whether it might making sense then you go for a more secluded private residence of course both comes in different kind of price there are also projects where it's connected but still very highly secure those require premiums okay so I think that's the end of this episode about 
transit oriented development until next time i will see you guys like this video if you really like it share it and even hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed i will see you guys soon ciao Somebody left their things in my car. Hmm.